And good morning. It is 22 minutes after 8 o'clock. And joining us in studio this morning, uh, Chavez County Sheriff Mike Harrington and Under Sheriff. Number two. I got to do it. It's kind of a (laughs) tradition at this point. (laughs) (laughs) Charles East was with us this morning. Morning, gentlemen. How you doing today? Good morning. How are you? Thank you. you. Good. Well, um... First off, have you got any sleep anytime soon between no, the two of you here? Sleep. No, very little uh, sleep. I it's... hope maybe this weekend you might That's be right. able to squeeze a couple hours in. Yep. But uh, right. uh, I know yourself <laughs> and, and, well, really all law enforcement agencies in the region have been pretty busy this yes. last, uh, well, since COVID. But it seems like um, there's no, I guess, slowdown in just things, you know, between accidents and, and shootings and, you know, obviously mental health mental is always health. is a is a big concern and and uh, even though we're coming out of the pandemic, yeah, we're, we've seen an increase. Those in, problems aren't going away until no, right. we've addressed we, them. We've so. seen an increase in mental health illness uh, after the COVID, and uh, you know we're we're we can't say that it was because of one thing or another, but sure. we can say that uh, <clears throat> it has truly exploded. And there is very little help out there. Gotcha. Um, and those who have mental illness don't, not all of them believe that they have a mental illness. So it's hard to get them to go voluntary Absolutely. Any, anywhere. So, sure. Uh, it's like an addict. A lot of times an addict doesn't yeah. want to admit they're an addict. They're yeah. like, they got it that's under control. Correct. But right. you and I know that's not the no, case. No, that's not the right. case. Yeah. And so for us, we're, we're seeing a, an uptick in... Crimes against people, and uh, that's our homicides. And uh, yesterday, the the city of Roswell had a homicide yesterday morning. Last night, we had a homicide in the uh, outskirts of in the county, mm. or the country, and uh, it's it's something else. And and uh, drugs and, and mental illness and other things are a big yeah. factor in all of this. And you know, it's just hard for. Us, especially the one that happened uh, last night, to see a family member attack a family member, and 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 kill him. You know, it's just uh, it's just crazy. Somebody sure. who's trying to help you, you turn on them and you and you do that. It's so, hard for someone to wrap their head around that. Yeah, but it happens when when you follow the clues, follow the trail, and follow the progression. And unfortunately, we. Most of the time, we don't learn this till till after till the after, fact. Right. Yeah. Um, then, and you then it kind of makes sense. Yeah. But but when you come in from the outside, which obviously yeah. you as law enforcement do on all these cases, right. um, it, it's you just see the tragedy, and then yeah. you have to work back to to put the pieces together to right. see the where the real tragedy is sometimes that, on this. That, that's correct. Um, and- but I, I do, before we talk, because uh, I know some people want to know some information on some of these past yeah, cases and sure. things like that. Before we, we go down into that area, um, uh, uh, <laughs> this is the biggest secret in town. But yeah. uh, <laughs> but you yeah. do have an announcement you want to make yes. sure. Uh, it, we'll make it official here so, let, so people can stop going, hey, you heard it, yeah, right. Let's Let's just get, let's that, address the, uh, the elephant is, in the room, yes, I guess. No, that is correct. So... <laughs> So, uh, and, and I wanted to do this on your radio station because I do appreciate you. And, well, thank you. Uh, you know, yeah. you, you, get the, you get the truth out there. I appreciate and that. And you thank have you very a great much. following. And uh, so I wanted to make it very clear to everyone who listens to this and everyone who is going to be told about this that I am running for re-election for Chavez County Sheriff. All right. I have already started my campaign. And... Uh, uh, if they want to know more about that, they can go to the Mike Harrington for Chavis County Sheriff okay. uh, Facebook page, and uh, I would ask that they follow that, that they get on there. Uh, as you know, you can't uh, put anything about your, your campaigning on the sheriff's page, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm not going to do that, but I do want them to know that I do have the Chavis County, uh, Mike Harrington for Chavis County Sheriff's sure. Facebook page. So if you uh, want to volunteer, get be on the yeah any of the team to support your your reelection campaign, right. you'll go through you go through that, that. Facebook page. Right. Um, anything else, Chavez County Sheriff's related, continue to go through the Sheriff's Department yes. page. Yes, and, and, all and that. Yeah. I also post everything that I post on the Chavez County Sheriff's Office page. I post that on the Mike Harrington for Sheriff page as well as my personal page sure. because I want to reach as many people as we can. That's information that needs, that needs to be to known be by everybody, 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 whether you want to vote for the sheriff yep. or not. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Absolutely. And uh, so, you know, and, and 
one of the big things about running for reelection, you know, we're we're going to be out campaigning, we're going to be doing fundraisers, we're going to be doing a lot of things. And we've already started that. And uh, I, I, it's very important. Absolutely. So. And well, I know in uh and I, you, I always have this as a joke because because yeah. uh, the sheriff starts about a year before everybody else when it comes to yes. And so my question is if if because I've seen them, if you still got your window uh, sticker from yeah. last time, go ahead and keep it on now. <laughs> keep now it you on. keep it up. But, and I'll be putting more of those out. Yeah, so you got update new ones going. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> we, we, we're got new ones going. We we're gonna be right. but I still those see them. I see them. every once in a while I'm driving around. Oh, there's another sheriff of my character yeah. sticker. So, <laughs> So, like at the at the fair, we'll have the Chavis County Sheriff's Office booth, cool. as well as the Mike Carrington for Chavis County yeah. Sheriff booth. And, and then so, what we'll what we'll do is, um, you know, as we get closer to election times and yeah. all that, it probably a little early now, but right. uh, we'll set up a, a time outside of our normal, yeah, talking sheriff for me stuff, and you. just to you to to campaign and and, yes. and do the politics side yes. of, of being but, a sheriff versus just the sheriff side. And, and, yeah, that, yeah. and that's the thing. And and, and uh, until then, follow that Mike Carrington for Chavis County Sheriff okay. Facebook page. But it is this is my official announcement. Well, that, thank you. Uh, Appreciate. I am that. going to. Uh, re- I'm going to seek being reelected as sheriff, and and I'm going to tell you this. I've got so much to do. Mm-hmm. Let me- and let me tell you what I have done in this time of of the two and a half years that that we're at right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have accomplished so much within this county. I'm going to put you on the spot real quick. Yes, not too bad, but yeah. <laughs> like, it, like if you if someone asked you right now today, which I guess I am, um, what's the thing you're most proud of is your time sheriff this time, and the part two is what's the thing in your crawl that you want to make sure you get done next term. Is, so, I'm sure you've got both of those. I, I do, and so what? There, there's two things that I'm proud of. One is the relationship with this community Mm -hmm. is top-notch. We have reached out to this community by being involved in every community event that there is, Mm -hmm. also being involved and being reachable and and, uh, talking to everybody who wants to talk. Mm -hmm. Um, We have really grown a a great relationship with this community, Mm -hmm. and that's all of Chavez County. Sure. Uh, you know, I can go anywhere, and I will talk to you everywhere, and you can ask my, my wife, my family. They just grab the basket and continue shopping because I'll stop and talk. <laughs> I'll stop and talk for hours. So I, I know that thing, <laughs> Yes, and it's my wife at Walmart. Yes, She's absolutely. a school teacher. Yes. And I don't care. Uh, you think, you think like, I'm the radio right. guy. People yeah. would kind of, no, 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 yeah. I go to Walmart. Mrs. And they yeah, call her out, and the right. kids come, and I'm like, all right, yeah. I'm going to go be in the soda yeah, and I'll continue go, yeah, on you. Go ahead. I know that yeah. feeling. And I'm, like, I'm like, you just leave the leave the wallet here, though. Leave the wallet here. Right. I'm just kidding. But, uh, no, but so. Uh, uh, brought back community policing. Uh, but but our, our, community, really have. our community policing has been one of the best things. The other thing that I'm very proud of, and uh, because of the relationship that we have with the senators, the state senators, and the state representatives, and other people within this community, we have, and and this is just right now, mm-hmm. we have 23 new vehicles for the Chavis County Sheriff's Office that we have. We have five more that we're getting ready to receive. Gotcha. Once we find some because there's no trucks on any lots anywhere well covid, uh, COVID and everything yeah. else well, has put supply little, and demand they, they had to that, they had yeah. to build the silicone right stuff. that's it, the problem is the silicone yeah, plants we, that's it, we don't know for the chips but, for the and chips. they got all these new trucks and vehicles yeah. sitting, sitting in the empty lot. lots waiting on silicone waiting chips, on silicone yeah. chips. Yeah. so yeah, we that's what i've heard so we we have uh, been uh, and this comes from the capital outlay grants the junior bill grants that the senators and uh, state representatives have uh, lobbied for us, mm-hmm. and so we're very thankful for that. And the other thing that I'm very thankful for is that this community, because of our relationship with them, we have received donations from the community, which has bought us our uniforms, yeah. has paid for the graphics on the trucks, the K-9. has paid for our canine yeah. unit. Has, has That's just private it's folks just wanting to help private and, and support their law enforcement. It, it, yeah, it cost it cost almost ten thousand dollars to get everybody boots, and we've never bought boots for any deputy in my 
25 years of being with the sheriff's office, but because I changed uniforms, some of these younger guys, to go buy another set of boots for $169, it's tough. It cuts right uh, into the budget. We, we are the you. lowest paid sheriff's office, I'm telling you, that they're in in this area of mm-hmm. New Mexico. We are the lowest paid sheriff's office. And so what we wanted to do was reach out, and, and I'm going to tell you, the community came in and gave us $10,000 oh, to awesome. buy what Offset we need. that cost. And Offset that- it. Let the officers and, have the tools to do yeah, their job, and, and, they, and so they save that, their and money they, for their yep. bills and food. And, and, and let me tell you what right. that has done. And this is what I, I I'm really excited about having been been able to do is we change the look of the Chavez County Sheriff's Office from the vehicles mm-hmm. to the uniforms, and the people of Chavez County now see us. Yeah, they yeah. Now, they now know we. They exist. now know that you, we exist, and it's not just because right, of Campbell. the. The visibility of the uniform and the and the cars, because, but it's also the guys and and ladies that we have working for us, and we just hired two They're working uh, more females here just this month. Awesome! And uh, so we we are expanding in every direction, but we have allowed these deputies to go out and work. <laughs> and you know, you've seen a Facebook post uh, that was on. One of our deals where we had it, our deputies out, uh, you've seen I put it out there where our deputies were at the UFO Festival. We had mm-hmm. them out patrolling the UFO yeah. Festival because two reasons. One, we have people coming in from everywhere. We want them to know that there is a law enforcement presence within this Absolutely. community. Absolutely. That's, you're uh, the beacon in the storm it, it there sometimes. It takes all agencies or something. to yeah. It takes all agencies to do this. Like that. The other thing is, is we want our, our deputies to be at community events. Sure. So they joking pose. and talking yep. and it's, having it's fun with community. the community. Yeah. So you see them, they pose with the uh, aliens at the UFO festival. Yeah. Well, one person gets on there and he says, this is not acceptable. Uh, these deputies should be out patrolling. They should be working. Deputies should only be outside of the city limits. Ridiculous. Yep. The Chav- Roswell, New Mexico is inside of Chavez County. Mm-hmm. The sheriff is going to be all over this county, and that includes Roswell, Dexter, Hageman, Lake Arthur, Duncan, sure. wherever it is that Chavez County, all 6,100 square miles. You vote for a we, county commissioner. You that's go, right. You, know, you, you get the same services yep. as it is. It's same the services. The Within and, their city limits or without, it doesn't matter. Right. And yep. speaking on that, our relationship with the Roswell Police Department is is unbelievable. I, I meet with the, the chief. I just met with him the other day as well. Uh, we went out and did a uh, – we were judges for a rib barbecuing contest. And, and, uh, if you need help there, let me know. Well, I will right. tell you, there, there was nothing but a pile of bones with nothing on them after That's I was where done. Rank had his but, privileges. Yeah. So now I got to ask, yeah. who's the better rib eater, the guy from Boston or the guy from New Mexico? Well, I'm going to I'm gonna have to admit I'm probably that guy. But you could have put those bones in a museum. There wasn't he a might have you on the baked beans because they, right. they know a thing or two about beans. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. the ribs, I think we well, got them here. And, and, my, and my problem was is – uh, by the time you're done, you can't go back and sample which one was the best. So I thought they were all great, but uh, uh, and, I, and I'm a rib guy, so that's a, that's a good thing. But uh, going back to that, like I said, the relationship with us, and right now Dexter Hageman, Lake Arthur, these are all friends of ours. Yeah, and it's easy to communicate with them and talk to them and say, "Hey, look, all we want to do is the sheriff's office." with every one of your agencies is to make sure that you go home at the end of the day and that we go home at the Absolutely. end of the day. Absolutely. Y'all have we're the same there. purpose. The we same. have the same purpose. Same we're going to make sure. We all want a great community. Yep, we're going to make sure this community is safe. We're going to do whatever it takes to make sure that it is safe. But at the end of the day, we're going to make sure that our guys go home. Yeah. And, and that's important. I would guess, too, is uh, being from here in New Mexico, and you, you're obviously more qualified to answer this, but I'm thinking – because we live in a rural area and an area where there's a whole lot of nothing, um, that cohesion has to happen because it does. you guys are working yeah. multiple sites yep. together yep. when it's outside there. And right. things. Whereas 
back east. That's right. Yeah, you, you know, it's more more urban, more you and know. So they're more into cities, and yeah. so the right. so they're a little bit more picky on their jurisdictions they're and overla- things. You know what overla- I mean? Because they all yeah. have roughly probably the same amenities sure. and resources. Where that's not the case Out here, here where we're limited on manpower. You, you guys are geared up for certain things. So there's probably things that that you deal with better with in the right. in the in the rural parts that the more urban city stuff is in hand and vice right. versa, you know? Sure. And well, so, so you guys work together, pull all resources, together. pull all of that, and, and because it just makes sense to do that. Right. One of the you things know? that I see, especially here in the southeastern part of New Mexico, and this is, you know, I know all the other surrounding sheriffs, we're very, the sheriff's department, the Roswell Police Department, the state police, and all these other agencies, they're all, everyone's humble. It's not that we want the credit for anything. We sure. don't. We don't fight over who made the arrest or who investigated the scene all we care is that it was done right, right. as long as and the it, end of the day done. we got the bad, and the bad guy is caught and, and, and that's how i am done. you know Win that's, for that's everybody. one of my that's things it. yeah and you'll see i give credit to agencies who come and uh, that we go and assist or they come and assist us and, mm-hmm. uh, and that's important yeah but uh i just wanted you to know that the chavis county sheriff department is in full swing we're doing a great job my my deputies are out there and if people <clears throat> have any questions or would like to have us come out to one of their events, all mm-hmm. they have to do is call us. Reach out. And reach out to Shoot us. Shoot a message we'll, on the yeah. Facebook page or call yeah. the Sheriff's Absolutely. Department. Absolutely. Uh, or some, you know, it, you're one of the few that, that has yeah. the Sheriff's number, uh, you know. Yep. Reach and out that way, five, whatever it is. Er, so. Everybody knows my number. 575-626-8915. Yeah. <laughs> all you got to do is call me. And, uh, yeah, don't we'll crank call the done. Sheriff. He's going to yeah. figure that yeah. out. Yeah. 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 He doesn't yeah. have some tools. We also have some tools to find out where that came from. So, you know, be reserved. Let me tell you, I get enough calls telling me that my my insurance is about to expire or or uh how the chavis county sheriff's office is wanting you to send them money and i'm like oh yes oh uh, yeah would, oh would, you should yeah, get yeah, social security yeah, numbers so, about to expire so you're raising so, money for the sheriff's yeah, department yeah, huh? yeah you know we get them all all these different uh those we like scams. to keep on the line for yeah, a little while i would imagine oh believe us we keep them on the line forever until they finally Get Figure mad and out. hang up on us. <laughs> exactly. Or, or the radio goes off because you didn't turn it down. They heard that and then they, they shut Oh, they down. figured out like, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, you so, better get uh, better yeah. beat cheeks yeah. on this one. So. But let's get on with the, the questions that people yes, have. Yes, yes. So, uh, so um, oh, okay. The first one I got uh, was the uh, Bronco on a uh, on um, Country Club. They, I guess it hit a tree or another vehicle. Country Club. Yes, yep. what, what happened to that one? That was one uh, so someone asked me about. That was a single car accident, okay. and uh, it appears that the uh, driver either had a medical condition or fell asleep Okay, uh, and just ran into that tree. And luckily, luckily, uh, did not receive a lot of injury. Good. Because of the way he was slumped over, the airbag didn't uh, hit him head on. It okay. looks like he was went over to the so side. So he, he kind of missed. He kind of missed that. the impact from that. So yeah, so that's that was uh, what happened there, and that's one of the things that we're seeing a lot of is people are pushing themselves. Uh, they're driving when they're tired. Mm-hmm. They're driving when they're intoxicated. There's a lot of things that are going on. Mm-hmm. We've seen this. Uh, on Highway uh, 70. Northeast. N- yep, going to uh, Clovis, but also going to Tatum mm-hmm. and going to Rio Doso. The sun is a big factor as well. You ain't lying. Right now, let me tell you, er- even... Er- early in the morning, it's deadly. Even going down any street that runs east and west in Roswell, New Mexico, mm-hmm. like McGaffey or mm-hmm. Alameda, you cannot see. Yeah. And if you have just the littlest amount of dust on your windshield... It you magnifies are, it. You're, you're, it you're, it's like you're driving in fog. Yeah, you're so, right. So, uh, you know, we, we're seeing more and more accidents because of that. Pro but, tip, uh, if you're driving west to, to, to Tucson or Phoenix, yep. don't pick like four in the afternoon to start no, that journey. Yes. <laughs> if you're, we make if, that drive early if you're, in the morning. Yeah, if otherwise you're going to be like, I can't see. Yeah. If you're going west. Forever. Yeah. yeah, if you're going west, leave early morning when the sun's coming up in the east and and vice versa. If yeah. you're going out of town, go, and you're going east, do it when the sun is setting. Because yeah. it's very dangerous, especially when people are trying to look into the sun. And and, and because that, especially going out towards Tatum, mm-hmm. it is a two-lane highway, and people are getting hit head on. Yeah. Because people are trying to pass the truck. If you can't sure. see, by, pat, 
pass and, the truck that you're trying to pass, and, slow down, yeah. give yourself more space to where you can see the whole thing, mm -hmm. and then... And distances but, can be deceiving when you're yeah. gauging, like, oh, I see a truck. He's I way see. down oh, there. Yeah. They, they're coming well, fast. They're, they're doing coming. 70 miles That's, an hour. You, you're doing 70 you're miles doing an hour. This way it happens quick. Deceiving. And the hills yeah. may, are deceiving. You may, you may yeah. see the, the vehicle that's on the other side of the dip that you don't see yeah, and right. there's a car and, coming and unfortunately, up or a truck. That's usually when these problems yes. happen or something. And so. We all know, going towards Tatum, uh, that that is a very hilly uh, up and sure. down, and in in the sun right now makes it look like there's no dip, and you start to pass, and there comes a car yeah. out of that dip, and you're going to get killed. Yeah, that's a rough so, seventy stretch between here and Tate, yeah. and that seventy and, and miles there between, I, and just be. I wish be they would turn that into a four lane. I don't know why. It's one uh, of those things they need. It's kind of like the other way when you're going to Rio Doso. Yeah, and remember right. when that was just two oh, lane yes, the whole I way? Oh, How yeah. many? Uh, I think every summer someone's yeah. dying in that yeah. in that valley Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And they made it four lane, mm -hmm. and all those problems all for the most part went away. I mean, yeah. every once in a while, but yeah. Yeah. you have animals well, yeah, like yeah. that. Uh, and, or I yes. think we'd have the same issue yeah. if we made a four lane from here to Tatum. I, know, I agree. I know that's uh, not high on on other people's money but list. Even, but well, just the other side of Tatum turns to a four lane. Yeah, exactly. I'll even tell you this: if you if they would do like Texas does, mm -hmm. right? That's what we all say anyway. <laughs> but if they would do like Texas and these other places, that every mile or every two miles, there's a little pass lane. There's a little pass lane. Yeah. Right. Even if you can't afford to go in and put in a whole other two lanes, mm -hmm. uh, you can do every two miles a, a passing lane sure. for a mile. And that'll give people and a that safe you option a safer to, do that. Option right. to yeah. do that. And really get you past those bigger trucks, mm -hmm. get you past those. Uh, and, and especially coming into the summer right now, we're going to have a lot of trucks that are doing agricultural stuff, mm -hmm. you know, full of the uh, silage and other things. Yeah, so and they're going to be more unpatient. They're they're not patient, so we're going to go Little around cars them and whipping through. Have, yeah. hit and they're worried about their so, windshields. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they don't get the rocks. Oh, yeah, exactly me. right. Yeah, I've already every, replaced every, a windshield once this summer. Yeah, every trip we go up, <laughs> yeah, we we're probably buying another one. And especially like what happened with us here in. Chavez County, when the the road department went out and put gravel down to do chip seal, and there's no oil, so they weren't able to come back and put the oil down. All of a sudden, now you have all these Pebbles. major roads where it's gravel, yeah. it's gravel. and it was breaking windshields yeah, and yeah, other things. All rocks flying left and right, yeah, rocks yeah. flying. So we avoid those roads. So then your other roads that weren't your major roads are all worn out now because everybody went everybody down took those, those roads. Sure, yeah, and. Uh, so, so Roku's got their work cut out for them the next, yep. this upcoming Absolutely. season here. So, Absolutely. Um, I, I want to ask. This is me because I'm. I, I saw. Um, and I, I had I asked the mayor about theirs uh, yesterday, but I saw uh, in the I think the Albuquerque News or the you know KOB or one of those. Yeah. Um, they were talking about the state police how they retired uh, like eight of their uh, canines yes. uh, that were the marijuana. Yeah. Um, because obviously that they're Can't not use useful them. anymore. Um, how how is the sheriff's department? I know it's some. So, we got those. Are those dogs? They're not even. They're not they trained were, for canine. Gotcha. They marijuana. were. They saw yeah. a head too and That's said, right. "Hey, the writing on the wall. These are going to be right. obsolete That's dogs. Right. We're so, going to focus on the opiates or the more heavier." And, and that's the same thing gotcha. with uh, the ones the Roswell Police Department. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what the so, mayor said. So yeah. I, was, I kind of thought, but I was like, well, let me yeah. ask what, what you guys are got yeah. going so on there, too. So ours is, uh, and, and let me tell you, we're looking at getting another K-9 as well. Okay. So mm -hmm. uh, that's something that we're going to we're gonna try to get into place. And they really make a difference whenever you, you know, it, it's amazing. <clears throat> well, it makes things. people honest real quick. Two things. Yeah. <laughs> it will make a person. <laughs> It will make a person you can tell on themselves. But not the dog. The dog is going but to out. The dog you. is going to get you. Yeah. And so, so we, we really truly need that sure. right now, especially with uh, the governor passing a the legalization of marijuana without having places that actually sell marijuana. Yeah. You know. So what, who's going to be growing that? Who's going to be selling that? Sure. It's still going to be the same groups. And now that it's legal to have it, you can go, well, you can go up and get it, but it's still got to be transported from somewhere else. Sure. And so we're we're dealing with a whole different. Well, but as they're bringing that over, 
heroin. Yeah. Um, and fentanyl. And that's where and, the dogs will help uh, in. Yeah. It, it's that, not to go get trained. it's not to get the no. guy with a with a with a dime bag stashed that's in his right. glove box. Right. It's to get the guy that's got twenty kilos stuffed that's, under the gas tank. That's, that's exactly that's right. why we're trying to, sure. yeah, to get these done. Yeah, it's still against the law. And let me tell you this, and this is one of the things that <clears throat> people need to understand. The federal law says marijuana is illegal. Mm-hmm. Just because the state of New Mexico says it's legal doesn't mean that DEA can't come in and uh, arrest you. Sure. And so for us, if you have a massive amount, it's going to go federal. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're doing, and like I said. Because you're a trafficker I, at you're that traf- point. <laughs> yeah, you're no longer, this isn't personal use. Yeah. This is, you're doing things. But when you you pass a law, but you don't have a plan in place of who's going to actually sell it, mm-hmm. can't go to town and country or stripes, and buy it, so where are they going to get it? And the only places right now that are out there are your medical marijuana facilities. Mm-hmm. They're trying to do the, the right way mm-hmm. and start doing sales, maybe. <clears throat> but I'm, but I'm, I'm guessing you get a lot of people that, that maybe have a card yep. that go buy it and then turn around and sell it for three times the exactly. price on the street. Exactly. Get right. their money back. And, yep. and now the, the marijuana grade, I guess, is probably pretty clean and good because yeah. it's medical grade. But right. But yeah. it's getting into the wrong hands instead right. of the hands that need it are supposed, yeah. to, have right. it, supposed to have it, you know. So, so that's where we're at on that. But I, I can tell you that uh, uh, not very much thought went into. They're kind of leaving you all holding the bag on how to enforce <clears throat> how this. How to enforce this? Yeah. So and, and, that's, and I'm so I guess really your focus is is trying to catch the the DUI side. The DUI is, is that's getting a big portion yeah, that we're concerned people about. under the influence is of the it while driving and doing so things they're supposed to be here's doing. Here's the thing about DUI with marijuana: there is no way to measure the amount. Yeah, you can't do a blood right. test so or you, a right. breathalyzer. All yeah. it does test your blood, and if you have it in your system, you are guilty of DUI. You're considered to be impaired. But you, if you smoke could be, a week ago, it's going to be in your system. It's going to be in your system. Even though you're not high, so you're not right. impaired. So that's so, not an accurate way to measure if you're it, impaired exactly. or not. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. that's where, uh, and if a person says, you know what, I'm not taking your tests, but we we get, and this may be their felony level DWI, mm-hmm. which is more than so many, uh, then we take them for blood, and it comes back with just the positive of marijuana is mm-hmm. DWI. Gotcha. So it's not practical. It's not practical. So it, it's going to be hard. To, of, well, usually, like the do. eyes is your big indicator for folks yeah. under the influence. Usually, like if those eyes yeah. are doing crazy things, marijuana, doing hard, that's an we indicator. We do VGN. Yeah, yeah. yeah. marijuana is, is up and down. Their eyes are crazy. Days, yeah, uh, alcohol yeah. side to side. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, plus, if if they've been smoking it, you just stick out your tongue, and it looks like a like an alien, right? Oh, green. Gotcha. <laughs> it's gotcha. green. Okay. We. we Stick out your tongue. Ah, there it is, man. We see you've been smoking it. You know, and if you got like, a cartoon sized bag of Funyuns in your front seat, that might be or, an yeah, indicator. Or if, yeah, yeah. Or if, you're, yeah. if you're allergic to it, yeah. like yeah. I am, you're, you're gonna you're allergic, gonna know right away. I can walk up to a car and I start sneezing ten times, and you're like, so, you're, yeah, 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 I know what's going on. Yeah, I'm the backup dog. Gotcha. See, that's, that's what it is. So, but trick me, we'll get you. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my eyes. The. Uh, when is that? I was looking right there on your deal. The battle. Oh, the battle of the badges. That's next Thursday, yeah. Friday. So, yeah. While we. Uh, okay. Good. I'm glad you brought that up. Chavez County. I mean, yes, uh, the, the blood drive. Yeah. The uh, Vitality United Blood yes. Services. Yes. They do their annual battle of the badges event. No. Uh, next Thursday and Friday will so, be uh, Roswell, Chavez County. Yes. I, I'm already scheduled for Friday. Okay. That's why I was trying to see the date on that. Yeah. It's sure uh, it next Thursday, July 15th, from one to six. Next Friday, July 16th, from nine to one. Yeah. At the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. Yes. Um, you can call. Call Stephanie with Vitalant, 575-840-8178 and scan uh, or and sign up to, to donate blood. If you Absolutely. see this fly around town, yeah. um, they got the little uh, uh, QR codes. You can yes. just scan. Uh, and oh, it, I think one's up. for Thursday, one's for Friday. And you can set up your appointment. And set up your appointment. And then once you get there on your day, then you'll decide whether your That's pint good. goes to the firefighters or to the good. law enforcement. Well, uh, I'm, I'm set up for Friday, and I was just trying to make sure I wasn't missing it right now. <laughs> I, 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 you got a week. Yeah, you got a week. I, I'm good. You're a week. But so, uh, uh, <laughs> but 
Yeah. So what's our next question? Um, I think uh, I think I got everything from the people that wanted to ask questions so, here, and, and we're, we're running short okay. on time before we so, go down another rabbit hole. Well, I'll do yeah, that. <laughs> that's good. So, uh, like I said, we have we we're still accepting applications. We're uh, in the process right now of getting our uh, newest recruits that we just hired. Yeah. Ready for the academy. That's awesome. Getting things going. Uh, district court. Uh, actually, all of the courts are getting ready to go back in on the 19th. 19th. So you're going to be uh, full swing. back staffing those again, yeah. Yeah. making so sure there's prote- uh, sure coverage at all those. Good. Yeah. So it's going to be back to full swing. So we we have been busy, but I will tell you this, and there's one thing that uh, uh, I want people to know is that I have a plan for this department uh, or this office, and uh, we we just need a whole lot more time. So we're going to get it done. But every day, I want the people of this county to know I am working to make this a better place every day. And and, uh, and I tell my deputies I am working hard to make their position a better thing as well. Well, we I know we appreciate that. As a community, I, 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 I hear yes. nothing but... The- the community right. talking about how great it is, uh, our sheriff's department and, and, and their ability to access, that. talk to. Yep. And, uh, you know, I mean, obviously you're not going to give everybody the answer they want to hear no. all the time, but yeah. but they appreciate the attention to detail, the right. the, the, the the courtesy, professionalism yep. of, of what's going Absolutely. on there. And, yeah. and, um, and, 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 and that's a good thing. We, we like to show people whenever, uh, if they have an issue, they can always come in and we set them down and they can watch the – the video and and a lot of people it, it, one of the things that i am so happy about as well is that we do have a video system uh, a camera system that mm-hmm. is on the deputy as well as in the car so, so it's multiple so, angles and things so depending amazing. on where they're what's yep. going on where yes. and, and yeah. so when a person is dealing with the the police or law enforcement in general they only remember certain parts their brain fills in the other pieces and it's not always good. Sure. So when we bring them in, they get to see it again in what's really going and on. Like, oh, that was a blue shirt, like, not a red what? shirt, or I, whatever the details I are. Didn't Maybe remember I that. did say that. Maybe yeah. that. Or, <laughs> You're right. Oh, my gosh, I did say that. Especially in an emotionally elevated moment, yeah, whether absolutely. you're scared, mad, whatever. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. adrenaline's going. You yeah. know, it, 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 you know right. things, and so, th- memories and, and, and yeah. things change or differ. You know, so it we, just happens. We pay, it's almost like. Sixty thousand dollars a year for our camera system, but I will tell you, it is the best one of the best investments that we've ever done. I would say it's paid done. for itself yes. tenfold. Yes. I'm sure. I, I truly believe that by having that camera, it all it keeps it does two things. It keeps you honest, mm-hmm. but it also lets the people it keeps know, public honest. Yeah, but it also lets the people know. You know, a jury. Whenever I first started, if a police officer went in and said he did that, you were convicted. Sure. Now, everybody, because of TV and mm-hmm. because of all these other things, they want to see it. Sure. And Prove they it. have to, they want to see it. So we have it that. It confirms the integrity of the it officer. It confirms. Right. And whenever yeah. I say i seen it, you're going to now see that sure. that's what I saw. So well, and, a, a, and it also thing. makes, uh, let's face line, it, almost. If, if you're going and doing this every time <laughs> and then people, you know, okay, he's right here. That, I mean, that, that increases the integrity of the apart, yeah. department as a whole sure. and everything else. Yes. And, and uh, yep. it, it not only keeps people honest. It tells the truth either way. And it's a learning yeah. tool. Like, okay, so say the deputy did something wrong. All yeah. right. Now we, you know, now we see now the see impact it. that, and then for future, we actually uh, use it to critique and and, and improve and on those future it. stops and things like and, that. And and so right. yeah, one of the things too about the video, and I'll just say this, it also shows the emotions of both the person who the officer is dealing with, but mm-hmm. also of the officer. Mm-hmm. There's some things that you see that will rip your heart out, and you, that emotion is very clear on sure. an officer's face. Or on, on, in there, and it's good for people to be able to see. You know what? These are human beings. Mm-hmm. The human These are people who have the same feelings. But look how professional they were. Mm-hmm. Even even when they were getting even, you could they were right here yeah, in their face yeah, and doing things that most people that, would punch right? them and outright so if they did. Yeah, that, that's our goal. And and uh, but I, I tell everybody follow the Chavis County Sheriff's Office Facebook page. Uh, also, uh, just so you know, like I said, I am. Running for re-election. Yes. Go to the Chavis County, uh, Mike Harrington for Chavis County Sheriff Facebook page yeah. as well. 
Yeah, and absolutely. If you want to support, be a part, be a part of the team, uh, helping uh, plan events, fundraise, then give us um, a call. Get you, uh, get you, get you your uh, your Mike that. Harrington swag when yeah. it comes yes. out. Yes. <laughs> also, real absolutely. quickly, as the sheriff said, we do have positions available. If you're yes. interested in applying, go to Travis County website. Uh, you can get the application on there. You can submit it online. Yeah. We want to thank the county commission for giving us another position. That's um, awesome. So we do have another position to fill as well. Awesome. Uh, and uh, if you know of any crimes that have been committed or have any information, you want to remain anonymous, you can call Chavez County Crime Stoppers mm-hmm. or you can contact the sheriff's office at 624-6500. Absolutely. We, uh, the the we information's are, the important thing. You don't have absolutely. to. You don't have to out yourself or anything. Tell like you, that's that. why absolutely community involvement is so important because people will tell you things when they know you're not going to yeah. turn and, and throw them on the. And, and I can tell you this, bus. even though I've never been in law enforcement, been in the military, I, I know the, the lifestyle and know the the, the mentality. Absolutely. Um, getting a getting a position with the with the sheriff's department, it, it, yeah, you're going to have a hard job. You're going to yep. have days you're going to be mad, sad, and all right. of the above. But you know what? When it comes to being a sense of belonging to something and having a family atmosphere and dealing with the hard things together and create, if you're missing that wanting to be a part of something and yep. wanting to, you know, that, that that's what the sheriff's department. Two, will yep. give you. two things about this yeah. job. One, it's not a job mm-hmm. if you love it. Yeah. And we absolutely love it. So we mm-hmm. never go to work. We, we get paid to do something we love. To sure. Do. No better, no better position in the world or job in the world, if you want to call it that. And number two, there is no day that's the same. Mm-hmm. You will right. not. Yeah. You will not have a a uh, monotonous career. Yeah. Every day is different. Well, it's the guarantee. It, it. It's structured uh, but unique. You know, very much okay. So. You know, you're going to be here from here from this time to this time. But what happens we in that time? We plan the is day the, yeah. and we roll with the punches. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah. you don't know who's going to say what, that's, do what, or exactly. how act a certain way. So. And, and the satisfaction of knowing that you did the right thing and that you helped people. Is there's nothing better. There's Absolutely. no better there's grat- gratification better. than that. Absolutely. So, so we appreciate you having us on here today, and, and, and thank you guys. Uh, we'll appreciate. It. Thank, thank you for 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 holding out to, on my show to to, oh, yeah. to announce yes, the thing. Absolutely. I do appreciate that. And, and uh, uh, since that's very since, uh, uh, that's a big compliment. Thank you. Yeah. Since we weren't on here last month, you know, there was a lot of things that we had to get out there today, and we still got more. But one one thing that I want to do is uh, maybe sometime between now and the next one, okay, get. Uh, my new new uh, deputies to yeah, come in let's here. Bring I'd them like on to bring them in. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get see that what set they up. can do under jeopardy uh, conditions. You <laughs> I'll know? be gentle. I'll show we're, we're working up. on their public nah, speaking so skills. Be oh, okay. So you <laughs> want me to be a little uh, yeah. ornery yeah, with yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. I can do that. Yeah. I can put do them, that. Put them through the test. We can do that. The ornery spot. We can do that. That's going to be good. So we appreciate you very much. Well, thank you guys. We appreciate you all. And we'll see you here in a couple weeks, if not sooner. All right. Absolutely. All right. Good deal. It's uh, 8 o'clock. You're listening to 10 or 9 o'clock. You're listening to 106.5 Roswell's Talk FM.